hi everybody welcome back to my channel today i have uh, another high, highly requested video and i'll be making um aki and salt fish now there are several different names that um you may have heard for the salt fish some people call it codfish some people call it bacalao as you can see here right but in jamaica we're just used to say saying aki and saltfish and unfortunately right i don't have the one that i picked from the tree myself right but i have this linseed market one here from the can and this is what i'm going to be using right and as i go along with cooking this aki and saltfish meal i will show you all of the ingredients i am I am using and all of the different techniques that I'm using to ensure that my ackee and saltfish meal comes out just as nice as if I was using the one that it is coming directly from the tree. All right. So this piece of saltfish right here, I had it stored in the freezer for a while, right? Because as you know, we're living overseas. We just have to make the best use of what we have, right? so what i did this is very very salted guys very very salty all right so over here i have a pot of boiling water i'm just gonna put my salt fish in it my advice to you would be when you're cooking the salt fish because it's so salted i would advise you to just boil it for maybe 20 minutes and then you pour the first water away and then put some fresh water on it because the aim is to ensure that you get out as much salt as you can or else when you're actually cooking up the aki with the salt fish it is going to be too salt and a trick that i have learned um after cooking the salt fish for a while here i have maybe two teaspoons of sugar i am going to add it to the water all right and this is going to help to take out some of the salt contents that is in this salted codfish right here all right so i'm gonna allow this to cook thoroughly and then i'll let you see the next process right and also when i'm cooking my aki all right see you in a little bit okay guys so while my salt fish continues to cook i'm going to be preparing my aki all right now this came out of the can and it, it has been i guess it came in some form of brine right so what a lot of people do is they they go straight from the can to the frying process right i do not do that because at this moment the aki has basically no taste right now right it has been soaking in that brine and so i thoroughly washed it now this is what i do right so over here i have a, a little bit of water boiling all right and then to this water i am going to be adding a piece of onion a little bit bit of thyme one clove of garlic some pimento grains and this is um a small bouillon and what i want to do i want to ensure that my aki is tasty when i'm ready to cook it up with my saltfish right so i'm just going to dump this and if, as you can see this is um a chunky piece of um onion right because i i left it like this because i want to be able to take it out when i'm done cooking my aki right so i'm just gonna dump these in and to my boiling water i'm just gonna dump the aki in as well i want to show you something also if you look at this the texture of it it's already cooked right whatever process they use it's already cooked so you don't want to be boiling this too much but what i'm gonna do when my water is boiled i'm just going going to dump my aki into my hot water and let it boil for maybe three minutes and then I'm going to pour it out. All right. So I'm going to dump my egg in like so. Right. I'm just going to leave it, let it boil up for three minutes and then I'm just going to 
turn it off, right? And let it sit there for a little bit in the hot water. Okay guys, so welcome back. I have taken off my aki from the stove, right? And I have strained the water from it. You can still see my onions and my thyme and my pimento, right? I literally strained my water in this pot here. I put my strainer over the, wa the water. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cover I'm going to cover my aki right here so it can continue to steam right because remember i am searching for that flavor that it it lost right during that preservation process right so i am trying to get back that flavor as best as i can now as i said before lots of people do not do this but this is my way of cooking my aki and saltfish being a jamaican this is the closest i will ever get right to it being as authentic as it can be all right so my salt fish is still cooking over here i have strained off one um i have strained off the first boiling water already this is my second one if you can look closely the water is very very clean because most of the salt contents have been boiled out right so i am just going to allow this to cook for maybe another 20 minutes right until i feel like my saltfish is ready and also this is um up to you guys because depending on this is bone in saltfish right if you have the one that doesn't have the bone in it i think it, it's easier to cook but this one is the real hardcore saltfish that is very very salted so that is why you don't want when your aki and saltfish is done it is so salty you cannot enjoy it for me it's better for it to come out with less salt and then i have to add some to it than to eat it when it is so salty all right so i am allowing this to cook for about 20 minutes more Okay guys, so welcome back. My saltfish is done and I'm getting ready to um, combine the aki with the saltfish, right? But I wanted to go through this, um, this important step right here. As I said before, some of the bacalao that you will find, it has no bones and it has no scales. So it's easy to work with, right? This one is a little bit different because as you can see, it has bones, right? It has bones, see? It has bones and also it has scales right so what you want to do you want to make sure that you take a small knife I can use use my hands but take a small knife and just scrape off the, the scales very very easy to come off because the fish is now cooked all right so and even if you don't get off everything it's okay take a small knife and try to get the bones out of it as best as possible especially if you have small children be very very careful because sometimes they there are hidden bones that you cannot see right as I said I've been working with this kind of saltfish for a while so I know that it is salt so what I have also is a small plate with some water right so I'm going to pick you want to pick it off not cut but just pick it off Pick your salt fish out and I'm just going to put it in this water right here because if there is any excess salt that I don't want, I at least have it in this water and it can also take, off, take out some of the, the salt out of it. All right. So just continue to pick it like that. All right. Just to ensure that you don't miss any bones. Okay. So I will continue to do this. And then when I come back, I'm going to be combining both the aki and the saltfish for you, okay? Welcome back, guys. So this is the fun part of making the aki and the saltfish, right? Putting all of the ingredients together, all right? So I have some vegetables here that I am going to be sauteing to with my saltfish, all right? I have um, some tomatoes. I have one clove of garlic right here and I just leave it in chunks like that because as I said I like the flavor of garlic um, but I don't really like to taste it in, in my mouth you know to be eating it or, or anything like that so that's why I leave it whole so I can take it out but 
if you are the type of person who likes garlic you can go ahead chop it up fine and leave it there I have some orange bell peppers, I have some green bell peppers, I have some onions, I have some red bell peppers, and I have a piece of thyme right here. All right? And of course, I have my saltfish that I have washed, picked out, and then I have my, my ackee over here that was steaming away. All right? And then I have a medium frying pan that I have that I'm gonna be using to cook up all of my ingredients. Now, this is also um, a trick that I learned and I work for me. You might look in this pot now and say, whoa, that's a lot of oil. But I realize that when I'm doing the ackee and the sawfish, right? If I have like a little bit of oil, I hate how it comes out. It comes out so dry. Honestly, I'd rather have enough oil in the pot. Of course, I'm not gonna be eating all of that oil right i will drain it off or when i'm sharing i ensure that i have like a spoon like this so it doesn't come up with the oil but i prefer to cook with enough oil so that my aki is gonna remain moist all right so i have my stove on medium heat i'm just going to dump all of my vegetables right here okay so don't fall off your vegetables right here, guys. And as I said, what I'm looking for is the flavor. What I'm looking for is the flavor. Another thing that I do when I'm making the ackee and the saltfish, right? Some people saute their vegetables, right? And then they put in their saltfish. But because I want all of the flavors to come out of the saltfish, what I do I just dump everything in at this point with my vegetables right because remember I told you that I cook my saltfish twice and I also added some sugar because I wanted to get out get out most of the salt so when I do this step it tells me whether or not I can put a little bit of powder seasoning on it right so that's what I'm doing here so just leave this, let it saute for about seven minutes, all right, five to seven minutes. And then I have my stove on medium heat and I'm not ready to add my ackee yet, all right? When I come back after it sautés for a while, that's what I'm going to be adding my, my ackee. So while my my vegetables and my saltfish is sautéing, guys, guess what? I had to make some dumplings because you cannot have ackee and saltfish without some good old dumplings, right? So I have some dumplings over here that I'm cooking up and I'm going to be serving this with my ackee and my saltfish, okay? Okay, guys, so my vegetables and my saltfish is sauteing away, right? And this is what I want. And at this moment, I am going to be seasoning this with some black pepper and remember i told you that the reason i added my saltfish to my vegetables right is to see whether or not i need to add any powder seasoning right for more flavor so i am going to add some black pepper i am going to add just a teaspoon just a teaspoon of complete seasoning just a little bit all right, I'm also going to add some parsley flakes. Now this step, you can you can um, lose this one. You don't have to do this step. But for me, because the kids don't really like pepper, right? I add some parsley flakes because as I have always said, I don't like when I'm cooking and my food doesn't have texture or just looking pale or just white, right? I don't like that. So that's why I like to add some parsley flakes right here because I'm not putting so much black pepper in there, right? Now at this stage, right, I'm going to add my, my ackee. And this is actually two cans, all right? Two cans of ackee right here. Okay. Now also to this, 
if you notice i have not incorporated all of the ingredients together as yet i will add some more black pepper just like so and also i am going to go ahead and add a little bit more parsley flakes all right so i am not ready to incorporate everything just yet i have my stove on three close to medium and i'm just going to let this stay for about three minutes i am going to cover my pot right here and i want it to take its own time and simmer and incorporate all of the juices and, and the spices that i have that i have added right so i'm just going to cover this for about three minutes before i incorporate everything right welcome back guys so after three minutes this is what my ackee and my saltfish is looking like look how beautiful this is all right so at this point you want to take your time and incorporate everything because some people when they're making ackee and saltfish man you can either find the ackee or you can't find the saltfish that's how rough they handle the thing and everything is smashed out all right so you don't want that so you want to take your time because remember that that this ackee was right already cooked all right so you just want to take your time and incorporate everything okay also at this point you want to give it a taste test all right just to see whether or not you need to add any more um black pepper to it right And this is good this is very very good very very good all right so I'm just gonna put a little bit more black pepper just a tad bit more and also a little bit more parsley flakes because I don't want my ackee to be looking so white. I don't like that. All right, guys. Be very gentle, right, when you're doing this, all right? And that's it. That's it, guys. That's it. So I'm just going to leave this on for another two minutes so that my, all the flavors can continue to seep through. This was of a lengthy process if you want to do it right but it wasn't hard at all okay wasn't hard so that's it guys look how beautiful my aki and my selfish is looking all of the nice vegetables are just showcasing and I guarantee you it's tasting just as nice. All right. So once again, guys, thank you so, so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for liking my videos and also for commenting on my videos. All right. So this video was dedicated to my friend Kay who wanted me to make the Akian saltfish for her. All right. So until next time, guys, big up on yourself. All right, one love. So guys, I had to come back and show you what the finished product is looking Mommy. like. All right, I have Mommy. my dumplings Mommy. and I'm going to be enjoying Mommy. this with my Aki Mommy. and Hi Challen. Oh, hungry? All right, mommy's gonna give you dinner now, okay? All right, so. Now let's see what go on, alright? Dinner time, everybody hungry. Alright, so on a walk good.